Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. Now in this tutorial, we will go ahead and download Visual Studio Code. Now Visual Studio Code is an IDE. IDE is very powerful when you have to develop something. Okay, when you have to code, IDE comes out very efficient and also is very powerful and uh, it has a lot of different kind of features. So we can use this Visual Studio Code IDE for our Salesforce development purposes and it is also one of the IDEs that has been recommended by Salesforce developers around the globe. Okay, there's another IDE, it's called Illuminated Cloud and you can use this IDE as well for your Salesforce development. It is also very powerful, very nice and it's freely available and you can go ahead and uh, use that IDE also for your Salesforce development needs. But in this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and stick to the Visual Studio Code and we will see what all things that Visual Studio Code can offer us. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to go to Google and type in Visual Studio Code download. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, go to this download our Visual Studio Code. And then next thing would be we are going to download the Windows version here since I'm using a Windows machine. And then once you do that, it's going to go ahead and start the download. Since I already have Visual Studio uh, Code, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just use this and replace it. Okay, so hit the save button and I'm just going to replace it and it'll take a couple minutes to download. Now, once it has been downloaded, we'll go ahead and install this Visual Studio Code and we will see how you can write your first program in Visual Studio Code. A couple more minutes and we will be done. So this has been finally downloaded. Now let's go ahead and show it in the folder or you could have just double clicked here and then I'm going to double click here on this one and it is going to ask me to accept the agreement so click on this radio button hit next this is going to be the location where it's going to download your visual studio code hit next here this is going to be if you don't want to create a start menu folder you can check on this checkbox i wanted to create a, a menu folder that's why i also wanted to create a desktop icon so i'm going to check this checkbox and i wanted to add this to the path as well okay and then hit the next and these are all the overview it's going to download into this location it's going to create a start menu as well like over here and then it'll also create a desktop icon for you and it'll add it to the path variable as well and then hit the install button now it might take a couple of minutes to it to install the visual studio code now once you have installed the visual studio code you need to do a couple things the first thing is we need to download a couple of extensions, okay? A lot of things, a lot of times what other people have will recommend you is to download Salesforce CLI, Java, all that. So instead of doing all that, I'll show you one easy step and you don't have to explicitly download anything. You can go ahead and launch your Visual Studio Code here. So it is going to start up here. This is how it will look like. If the screen that appears to you is black in color, what you can do is you can go to file and you can go to preferences and then here you can choose the color theme and you can choose a lighter version or you can choose a darker version. So darker will look like this. I'm, I don't prefer working on a darker one. So I'm going to go ahead and go to preferences again and choose a different or a light theme here. So this is the theme that I like to use. Now the next thing is, this is the explorer window and then you have, if you want to search something, search a text in your source code or in your thing, you can use this. If you want to integrate your Visual Studio with a Git or a version control, then this is the way to do it. So you come here and then you integrate with your version control. Now version control is a very powerful um, tool because what happens is when you are working in a team and you have a lot of other developers working on the same sandbox, then in order to avoid stepping on each other's program or each other code, it's always very good to have a version control system so that you know what changes were made by whom and all that kind of stuff. So you can keep track on track of all those things. Then this is the version control. The next thing we have is the variables and then the, the next important thing is the extensions. So once you have downloaded the Visual Studio Code, then you have to come to this extensions place. And in this extensions place, first extension that you need to download is the Salesforce CLI integration pack. Okay, so this is the first extension that you have to download. So first download this one before downloading the Salesforce extension pack. So let's go ahead and download this one, Salesforce CLI integration. Click on this install button 
and then it will go ahead and install for you. And once it has been installed, then the next thing would be, I will go to the Salesforce extension pack and I'll also hit install on that one. Once both of them are installed successfully, then I will recommend you to restart your Visual Studio code. It's not required, but I think it's a good idea to do it just because it hasn't downloaded all the extensions for us. So we'll go ahead and restart our Visual Studio code, but wait for it to first install all the extensions. If you had just downloaded the extension pack and not the Salesforce CLI, it will complain that Salesforce CLI is needed. Okay, so in order to avoid seeing that error, your first thing is you need to have the Salesforce CLI integration extension and then you have to go for the Salesforce extension pack. So this has been successfully installed because now it has this uninstall button. The next thing you have to do is this has been installed and now next thing is you have to install the extension pack. So let's go ahead and hit the install. Until you have these extension packs, you will not be able to create any Apex class or Lightning Web Components or Aura Components, nothing. So in order for you to start creating those things, you have to have these extensions. So as you can see here, both these extensions have been successfully installed. Now I'll go ahead and restart this Visual Studio, okay? So what we can do here is you can go ahead and restart here. And once you restart, I will go ahead and see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.